It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom! Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to another show of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Mickey, tits up, Big Baz. How are you, large? How are you? Oh, oh. <laughs> I am good, thank you, sir. How have you been? Have you are you enjoying this lovely weather we are having? It is very, very spiffing, Shh, getting soaked humid. and sweaty and hot and humid and cold and What hot. do they call it? Some might say there's a lot lots of cloud seeding going on. Cloud ceiling. Seeding. Cloud seeding. Have you not heard of it? Uh, no. Well, apparently, it's basically where they put chemicals in... Pl- you know when people go about, you know, the planes that leave all the white lines that... Like, what you wake up in the morning, it's clear. Chem and then about trails. an hour later, chem chemtrails. Yeah. Chemtrails. Tra- chem yeah. So now, obviously, they're on to something called cl- cloud seeding, which they tried in Dubai. Yeah, they did in Dubai. Basic, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which, which apparently, the, they think... Well, conspiracies have been saying it's what's been going on here, hence the summer we're having. Because oh. it's just cl- it's just clouds constantly, all the yeah. time. They're just the weather's just shit. There's someone up there finds one cloud and it starts pumping away, <laughs> blowing it up, fills the fucking sky with what clouds. What world we live in, eh? You know, what it is? I blame all the Labour government. Yes, fucking Labour won, oh, one, didn't one I? One sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, the police got him. Hello? I look well red today. Holy shit balls. I got burnt at work. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm very red. Very red. Or, I don't feel well. Sorry no. about that, guys. I'm back now. <laughs> no, I went to the shop. No, I didn't. So, did you not hear any of that? No. So that was I was uh, directing the uh, Amazon man to throw the parcels over the gate. <laughs> deliveries, enough. deliveries. Boo, boo, boo. Yes. Yeah, so we now have a Labour government. People. <laughs> Is that? Oh, I don't. Oh. I don't give a shit. To be honest, I don't care. All right. Oh, there'll be something bad that they do, and then there'll be something bad that they, you know. Do you know what you need to do? You need to invest in uh, inflatables at the moment. That's what you need to do, Niall. All them little dinghies and that, you can blow up. They're, they're going to be using lots of them soon. Oh, <laughs> fuck off, mate. <laughs> fuck off, you such a right wing bastard. <laughs> oh. Piss off. <laughs> I can't. I'm, like, I'm not. I am. Oh, I just can't talk about migration. I can't. I can't do it. It's not in me to talk about it. I just. We did I, it last it, week. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what? Like, it, it, I just it is can't. What it is. Yeah, you like you. You can say one thing, and you're a fucking terrible human being. And mm. I just can't. I can't get into that debate. I just don't have it in you. Well, I get why people do it. And I, trust me, I get why people do it. I think if people went to these countries and realised what happened to these people to to become migrants, then you'd understand. However, at the same time, like nothing's been done about it. Nothing's been nothing, done to help. Nothing will be done. Like, surely you'd go back to the source. Apparently, that so Labour's um, Labour's target will be the gangs rather than the migrants themselves. It'll be targeting the gangs that make these passings crossable so we'll see oh, okay fair enough anyway I, yeah. I listen enough about manifesto bollocks enough about fucking smolitics they don't who cares i don't give a fuck all they care about is it's coming home <laughs> it's coming home it's coming home to be second yay it's cut me in home. I know another final will fucking lose. I tell you what, if we lose this final, which we will. I'll be two in a row. No, I can't say that. I can't say we will. I can't. That's so bad. What we a never, game. 
It was. It was, it was a game uh, last night. Yeah. It was an interesting game to say the least. That, I, mean, I mean, there were lots of chances. Yeah. And I will. I will say, man, they. You know, the Netherlands are a strong team. They were good. They are very. They're dirty bastards, though, man. They are fucking left, right, and center. <laughs> they're Makes fucking. A change. They were fucking pulling the shirts the lot, mate. Mm. Was it a penalty though? No, I not in a million fucking so. years. Is that a penalty? Like he, it was like you know, it's kind of like ball to hand, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. he went for it as well as you went for it. Your boot connected. Wasn't a penalty. No, I, I, I don't think it was. You know, I mean, fair play to um, fuck me. What's he called? Harry Kane. Well, no. What's the Villa lad called? Uh, Ollie Watkins. Yeah. Ollie Watkins, man. What? What a lad. What? A, I mean, he deserved yes. that. He were finishing fucking brilliant. Mm. Although it was a good game, and I won twenty five quid. I said, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bet on last night. The odds weren't very good. Oh, see, I'll put a fiver on 2 1. Mm. I just thought, yeah, I'll, have a, yeah. I'll, have a, I'll have a little tickle. A little tickle. A little tickle. <laughs> and then by like the 88th minute, I, was, I looked at my bet and it was like, it was down to something like 33p cash out. Something like that. And then boom! Straight <laughs> up. 25 quid. No, 30 quid because I got my stake back as well. Um. So- that's good, man. <sighs> fucking hell. What about the news? What about that fucking bloke with a crossbow? Yeah, I heard about that this morning before I went to work. Yeah, that what the... Um, fucking lunatic. It was the um, the horse racing commentator, wasn't it? His, his wife and daughters got killed. By Apparently, it's one of, their, one of the daughter's boyfriends, I believe. Or ex-boyfriends. Ex-boyfriend, yeah. Wow. But... His brother, apparently, is already in prison for murder. So now his both brothers have committed murder. Wow. So it's a nice family. Really well, nice family. I mean, a crossbow of all things as well. I know, that's so random. I mean, how long did it take to stick them on there and then pull the thing back and then... Well, you know. I, I mean, as graphic as awful, I wouldn't even want to know. No, I don't. Like, I haven't heard anything. It. I say I seen there was CCTV for CCTV footage of him walking back to his car as calm as day after it, like he'd done nothing. Uh, I don't. I've not heard anything. Just saw it in the news as I was leaving this morning, so I don't yeah. know the ins and outs. It was uh, absolutely awful, though. They've got him, though, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. So they found him in a graveyard in Enfield. <laughs> I didn't put him there. He's not trying to get um, a job. <laughs> yeah, found him in a graveyard at Enfield. Apparently, he had some injuries, though, apparently. so Yeah, they said that they'd found him injured or something. They've captured him, but he's injured. And I thought maybe the police had injured him. Roughed him up a bit. I mean, fucking fair play. Yeah. But it sounds more like he did it to himself. Uh, it's a proper wrong on anyway, by the sounds of it. You've you know. got to, but you've, like... I mean, that poor man... That his life's gone, his life's gone. Yeah, it's not like I, I, I couldn't even comprehend of what ten seconds feels like in his world right now. Must no. did, like awful. I, I, I honestly, I, I wouldn't be around. I'd, I wouldn't be around now. I'd be a goner for sure. It's bad enough losing one, one of your family. If we only got others to like fall back on and. He's lost every. He's lost, he's lost the, his, his entire family in fucking some sick, twisted act of whatever. I mean, I'm sure it'll come out, you know, that he's got mental got health. Sh- yeah, yeah, he'll be, he'll be screaming every card under the sun for sure. He will either get like eight years or something, some bullshit, or they'll put him in a an institution and play on the insanity card. Although that's 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 what that's not what people think it is anymore. People used to say that all the time that you know, big criminals used to cr- claim insanity and stuff. And they did, yeah. You'd, you'd get out. It used to be like that that you'd get out once you're deemed safe to society and all that. Now, like you know, they are very very tight of 
you're probably not going to see the light of day again. No, you won't probably. No, they sometimes they are worse places. Look at the nurse. Look at the uh, the midwife. She what got midwife? she the midwife um, that was killing the babies last week. She got a whole she got a whole life order. I've not heard that. Hey, it's all going on. All going on. Show weird people. Oh, like, what is wrong death. with? What is wrong with just being fucking normal fucking people? Because they don't exist anymore. Well, some do. Me. No, I'm not normal. Just, <laughs> no, but I mean, just just getting on with life. Why have you just got to be a fuck up and blame it? Bl- find an excuse of being a fuck up. There are many excuses and many reasons why people do what they do. And, you know, these these people shouldn't be allowed to breathe air, I don't think. I think once, once you've done that, it's see you later. You know, when you've done a heinous act like that, there's no it should, more. It sh- literally should just be a pit. There should just be a hole in the ground, a very deep hole, and they should just be like... Come on then, walk off it, because you've done it. No food, you just end up rotting away alive. I think that's good punishment. However long you live for, that's up to you, you know. Eat your friend, eat your mate that's down there. It's up to you. Just fall into a ground, you're a massive deep hole and you ain't coming out of it. Like, there shouldn't be... Exactly, there shouldn't be prisons where it's comfortable and it's accessible and you know it's like oh they've got to have a telly and they've got to have this and they've got to have access to light and i'll be like no i'll be like you like if you oh, i mean murder for me life for life is is what i say look at that yeah. that guy that guy that was in the local paper the the drunk the drink driver that was um killed a mum and an eighth month old baby and his words were, accidents happen. He was driving at 125 miles an hour in an Audi RS6. Drink driving. Oh. Where was that? Oh, on the motorway. Fucking I think hell. it was the M20, I think it was the M25, I think. Don't quote me. I think it was. Um, Fucking hell. His words were, oh, accidents happen. The fuck? Wow, what a, what a negative start to the podcast. Fucking hell. Well, England are gonna in the final, so that's good. England are in the final, yep. Shit, man. <laughs> They're in the final. I'm going on holiday. I'm off on holiday. To Spain. Where are they going to pick you up? <laughs> couple of weeks. Couple of weeks, mate. Oh, yeah, I ain't going to wear any. I mean, do you own an England shirt? Fuck do I. I, might I own, don't like England. I, I, might, I might own an old one. I, I remember I bought I bought the grey England shirt back in oh uh, ni- nineteen ninety six. Where it was in the, where they, it was in the middle. Yeah, and it had the slight oh. slight stripes. Yeah, for Euro ninety six, it was in England. Yeah, I got on board then. I think that's the last time I bought a shirt because they're so expensive anyway. I loved my favourite one was the white one. You know the white one that had the collar, the blue collar. Yeah, they started to make it look like a vintage one. It was all yeah, white. Yeah, and it's and it's got like internal pattern in. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Saw, I saw some bloke had it on yesterday. Yeah, they're, really they're smart, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a smart looking one. Yeah, yeah. I liked that. I liked it. Or no, lock, I a lot. Football. Do people still buy football shirts? They start at like eighty pound plus every year, and it's ridiculous. If I buy a football shirt, I get it from some bloke off Twitter. Like, probably 99% real. But they're like 30 quid. There's no way I'm paying 80 pound for a minimum 80 pound for a shirt. I never get I never get when people go on about fake shirts anyway. I'm like, hold on a second. If you're not yeah. if you're not a play if you're not a player, your shirt's fake. <laughs> like, yeah. let's be honest. Like yeah. if you're not playing you, like, it's not real, bro. It's a fake shirt. <laughs> to, to be fair, the the material is not the best anyway because they make you stink. I hate them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They give me a cotton definitely... one. They should make football shirts out of cotton instead of polyester. That, 
That white one is. It's a cotton one. That oh, white is one. it? Because yeah. it, it's awful. I used to wear a t-shirt underneath the football shirt and you don't smell. But if you just wear skin, with a, it's not awful. And even if you don't sweat that much, you still smell. That's why I was looking at... Um, I don't... All my gym tops are that material. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like... But I've got thin, I've got thin Nike ones now, which have all holes in. But they still, they still, after a session, man, they still stink. Well, not, not that I'm going to wear it for more than one session, but no. But do you know I know what you mean? mean. Yeah, you go in home back, and you start. Bleh. I get back in my car after the gym. I'm like, fuck me, man, fucking stinks in here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not the best. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, bleh. especially if you go past people and your your air goes into them. It's like. Oh, let us smell that. <laughs> that like... wait. I can smell myself though. That's the thing. And if I smell myself, I'm like, That's I don't bad. like that. I don't like that. <laughs> like no. you, you can lie to other people, but when you you can't lie to yourself, you can't be like, no, I smell fine. When you don't, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you know what I, mean? oh. no, no. I hate sweat. Grey. I don't wear grey either. No, you know, no people wear... light grey, light blue, They're light blue, concept. light grey. They're sweat patch showers, aren't they? I do like light, light blue. I like a light blue shirt or top, but it, it's a no go for the sweat. Any sort of moisture, and Although, you're fucked. I will say it took me a very long time to learn, and I mean, probably t- I was about 15 by the time I learned this, that links and deodorant are two, pl- two completely different things. So I used to use links like deodorant, but it doesn't protect you. It doesn't block. It's not a barrier. It doesn't help sweat. The new ones do, because I use the new one. I never used to, I, though. Yeah, but I used to use, like... So, it was obviously Lynx Africa back in there. was just body spray. It was, yeah. They didn't do antiperspirant. That's what you want. Antiperspirant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although, I've got... Mine's, like, invisible. But now I use roll-on. I love roll-on. I am never going back from roll-on. 100% no. Roll-ons are good. L'Oreal, oh, I use. I use... The I black use a and orange one. one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. The black and orange one with the yeah. 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 Fucking the best smells. Don't get the yellow one. The yellow one of the same brand smells all right, but it smells a bit weird. I get um. What yeah. else? What's the other? What's the one? Mitch. Mitchin. Mitch. Yeah. In the green can. Yeah, that's Mitchum. good. I like yeah, Mitchum. That. Yeah, yeah. The green one. That's America. Oh. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. I get that because, oh, but it just. I don't know. It lasts so much longer as well. Like a, a can of deodorant will normally last me about two weeks, two three weeks. Yeah, well, it says forty eight hours. Right, I've, I've had a wash. I spray it on. I don't need to wash for two days. No matter how much I sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's those things, man. Hygiene, face wash. I a bottle of face wash that I get. This, uh, I think it's Neutrogena. Neutrogena. Yeah. 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 That lasts me about two weeks, and I mean, I do my face. I have a shower every day, so. Woo! Birthday. Oh, mate, hygiene for me is one I of the. I know. Joking. It's it's one of the things. Apart I have from to like sh- shower every day after work when I come home and I'm dripping in all areas, and it's just, stuck to me because the, the clothing is stuck to me. It's oh, mate! It's not the best sweaty gooch it's not the one <laughs> hard working manual labour worker now blue, told you mate you're blue collar now you're a blue collar man why is it blue I don't know that's so what they, they said about manual, manual workers you're a blue collar man oh does that mean labour will look after me because they're supposed to look after the, the yeah, working yeah. the working man the working man oh that's, I might, yeah that's good. I drink I pints you. I eat pies and I smash bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, no, I've got some bad news. Oh, what? We are down to number five in the fitness podcast. <sighs> okay, five. guys, let's talk about fitness, press-ups, push-ups, <laughs> burpees, squats. Listen, I'm going to give you five exercises that are going to change <laughs> your life. Five squats, five... Five sit-ups, can of Fosters, good night. Oh, <laughs> don't. So I've been watching this guy um, on TikTok called, I think he's he's a Scouse guy. He's, he's, called, he's got like um, a kettlebell 
workout company. Yeah. And he, this guy is insane. He, um, look at this guy on TikTok. He's called Shredded. Mm. He, oh my God, oh, like, and I've got kettlebells and I do kettlebell workouts at home. And I do them in the gym. But I was like, I never know quite what to do. Like, I, I, I've got, I've got exercises. I know what I'm doing, but. Like, I never know how... Because people that use cowbells and that are good with them, their form is just mental. It takes yeah. years of, like, perfection. But this guy's got a class of, like, 30 people, and they are just fucking shredding it. But his company's called Shredded. Okay. Sh Shredded cowbells. Look at him on TikTok, man. The guy's a fucking beast. Like, he's he's phenomenal, like, at what he does. To the point where he's, he's got an app and everything. And like he's just so down to he, he motivates all his like, all his team, everything. He's fucking brilliant. Show me him when you found him. And I'll tell you. Shredded. No. Shredded, I think it's called. Just put shredded kettlebell or something like that. Oh kettlebell. I was gonna say I've, I've, there's lots of naked men on here. <laughs> shredded kettlebell. Don't really want to Sc see that. Scouse guy with a big beard. Oh, he's got a beard, has he? Yeah. Trevor. <laughs> Trevor Cross. Yeah, that might be him. No. 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 Look on TikTok. Are you on TikTok? I'm on TikTok. I don't fucking go on TikTok otherwise. I don't know where the fuck this bloke is. I'll send it you anyway. This guy I don't think he exists. Fucking, you're a pussy now. I am. I am, mate, yeah. I am. I don't like offending. Fuck off. You love offending. You offend me. You just call me names. <laughs> did, you get, did you get my message, by the way, about your podcast? No. <laughs> I sent you, said... you an, in... I sent oh, you an I Instagram. Was... Yeah, I can't remember what you said now. Didn't even reply. Didn't even no. reply. Doesn't. By the way, mate, just so you know, guest everybody, Mickey's new podcast... Won't reply to your messages because he thinks you ain't shit. I don't. I don't reply to negativity. It's only about positivity in the world. People being happy and not bad or sad or killing people or shooting them with crossbows or knives and forks or whatever you want to do. So yeah, don't do any of that. People. Just be nice. Be kind. Right, be nice to people. Enjoy your life. Yeah. Like make the most of it. What has been happening with you then? What's been going on? I started a new podcast. <laughs> Cheer up, people. Dads, lads, and kebabs, a wrap. We're done. Mickey's got what? a new podcast. He don't, he don't care about our show anymore. I do. Thank you. He does. He does. He does. i got a cup and he's everything. Just, he's got a lot to say about the ghost of world. I do. There's a lot going on in there. And not, not at least not a part of that realm. I'm not no. in it. No, no. I was a bitch when it... Noel's a bitch when it comes to ghosts. <laughs> Listen, I can't look at haunted doors like Mickey can. All right, I entertain, I entertain it. I love him for what he does with with his shit. But he's got his own podcast, people. So if you are into the paranormal world and the community it comes with, however, I, I Mickey has told me the paranormal world is a bunch of bitches. It's a backstabbing whoop, world. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few fuckers out there that stab people in the back for money, or or some shit like that. But just not, just general bitching. Not even for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be filming one minute and they'll be talking about you the next. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. It's, is it it's, is it really that bitchy? I say it's better at the moment. It goes through big big phases where. Like, especially if things are happening with, with people and other people are getting involved, you always get the jealous ones, the people that... I don't know they, I don't know why they're jealous. Like, we're all in it for the same thing. Maybe because they get more followers or they have more likes or their video gets more views or they're on telly, which, like, 1% of people that do it are on telly, you know. No one's ever I mean, happy. I guess... Some, but the worst thing in your world is some, like especially when because a lot of people are recording it, a lot of people have got expensive equipment in terms of everything yeah. you have. The worst thing that people can say is, you know, you're making it up. 
Oh yeah. Like that must be fucking. You'd be like, you hold on a second. Like I have not drove five hours like you've done sometimes. Set up, stayed out in the middle of the fucking night in the freezing cold. And people are like, yeah, you're making it up. Like brilliant right so i've just done all this for fucking nothing have i <laughs> well to be fair i wouldn't believe other people's opinions anyway you have know? you ever lost any footage you ever gone to a location spent all night there come back and then it's just not worked it's not recorded or anything uh we noticed at the time at clop hill uh in bedford yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. We were filming uh back in the day maybe half hour of stuff that we filmed the segment and that's when we we had the DVD rec- video cameras. So you used to get little DVD discs. Yeah, yeah. And, and used to record on them, and they'd corrupt. They wouldn't save. Twice <sighs> this happened in the same place. So the oh, third God. time, we had to do all the experiment again. You took uh, Kodiaks, the wind-up Kodiaks. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, fucking nightmare. So, yeah, it can be frustrating. And at East Drive uh, last Halloween... Uh, I was there with Mark and Rich, and I was. It was the next morning, and I was filming like the intro for the video I was making, and it had no sound. I have no idea why it had no sound for the whole day before it recorded. It was just that morning it didn't record, and then when Shit. I got home, I tr- I tried to record it, and it recorded sound. So I hadn't done anything to the camera at all, which is a bit strange. But, yeah. Annoying at the same time though, as well. Like yeah, that, I, I made the that most cost of it. You money. Not really, but I, I made do with it, and I put some other bits in to make it a bit different, different style intro. But yeah, it, it is a fucking pain in the ass when you you film something. You shouldn't have to check every time you film something just to make sure it's got sound because these are very expensive bits of equipment. That's like an eight hundred pound mm-hmm. camera, you know. Which, you should... like you said, it's it's all at your own expense. It's not like you're sponsored by any of this no. equipment. You know, it's kind of everything that you've paid for. So for it to malfunction and shit. It's gone have you got any? Way. Have <laughs> you got know. any unreleased footage? Have you got any stuff like that you've kept in the locker? Of being like, I'm not sure I want to release that, or you know, no, like no. you'd be like, this was a bad, bad experience, bad time. You've released everything. Yeah, everything that I've finished. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So, but I have just started a membership on my channel. Where people can pay two pound a month, and they get lots of unreleased. Yes, he's not out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes later, slung. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. But yeah, I thought, fuck it. I I spend all this money on petrol is a fucking killer at the moment. You know, so I just thought, oh, so I I film videos at locations now that I'll put in there. There's free up there already. That are members mm. only, so you get to watch them, you know. Ooh, ah, dick! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you know what goes on at night, Nile, but it's not that. Very rarely. Oh, mate! Not, <laughs> not you lads in. Not you lads that spend time in the woods, eh? No. But shitting, shitting in a bush. <laughs> shitting in a bush and fucking. You know what I mean? Wiping your ass with a fucking KFC napkin, <laughs> <laughs> like all the all the worst things to happen that you got to do. Oh. Stinking, with just <laughs> car full of shit. You got stuff everywhere, mate. Yeah, proper man. But you man. love it. You love it. And I think I think you know. I, I them, as much as I've met a bunch of the lads that you've introduced me to through your world, I think it's, they're fucking. Some of them are fucking hilarious. Mm. Who do we have? Do we have Mark or Rich on? We had Mark on the other the other week. You Mark's weren't on funny. it when Rich was on. No. Yeah, Mark. Rich, you little Rich, you little bitch, come <laughs> back on the show. Because yeah. Mark's quite funny. I want to see if you're funnier. <laughs> yeah, Rich. Rich tells him off. It's quite funny when them two go at it. It's fucking brilliant. Oh god! What <laughs> like what like while you're filming? Yeah, them two are fucking nightmare. The, the things they come out with and the the thing it's like fuck's sake I, I know I keep a lot of stuff in my videos but sometimes yeah. certain things have to go and yeah, it's yeah. like mm-hmm. can't really keep that in you know that's funny but you know it's it's not staying in this time and it's what, it's quite what, it's quite annoying what do you think about content do you think content should be filtered do you think you should have to because I know now that obviously 
people are get they're getting so strict on what you can and cannot post now. Like, and I'm not just talking about offending people, but like you know you can, I don't know, you could vape it's topics, it, topics. You can you could vape on a video and it'd be like, hold on, we're deleting that. I mean, TikTok did it to us for me going to my fridge. I know. So AI. Obviously, AI is taking over in terms of like they've got these bots everywhere now that will be just monitoring everything that's being posted in terms of content, which deemed to be nothing wrong with, but yet they could just pull your content. Well, YouTube do have a, an AI section, and when you upload a video, you have to go through all these tick box things uh, and descriptions and stuff. And there is a thing on there saying if if you in this video are you portraying somebody that's not themselves like basically ai or fake people so i always put no because i don't do that much i don't use ai on my channel other people have started to mm -hmm. don't really know how it works don't really want to know how it works i don't really have any interest I feel, in i feel AI. like that's the ai yeah ai for me is a bit of a freaky situation like like you can you know like someone can intimate like they can do your voice imitate you have you seen the, the gareth you. southgate yeah. press conference videos yeah yeah, yeah. i they're saw one today it's like oh my god no but like they're doing phone like this is a phone call with um i can't remember i think oh sadiq khan they did a phone call with sadiq khan and like it was ai and it was just it was it was absolutely terrible and like, i get it he's a dickhead he's an absolute knobhead of a person because like he does nothing for London. However, like they were just portraying him to be so bad. It's like, well, hold on a second. Like that, how you know you've got to. If you're in trouble for that shit, like, and someone's going, hold on a second, we've got your voice on this doing this. Yeah, this is got video. Like, you ain't me. It'd be like, be like, it's not me. No, it. Well, it clearly fucking is. no. Like, and the moment you say the words AI, they'll be like, oh yeah, pulling that card, are we? He's pulling the old AI card, guys. Fuck yeah. him. Yeah, that's not a world I want to get into. To be fair, I know. I'm. I. I just. Why can't we just go back to ninety nine, two thousand and six? Let's have a look at. Let's let's go back and let's re go back to the world of two thousand between two thousand and six and two thousand and twelve. Back when I don't know what was popular back then flare jeans with rips at the back you know just simple life 2006 my son was one bombay bad boy pot noodles more than likely or they're still out i don't know yeah but... exactly just just go ah. back to those old times where things were just simple slow things down a bit i, I hate the fact that i think people would be shocked in them days, if they said, "Oh, you you could take you could spend an hour in 2024," I think, oh, they, would, I think they would come back like, "No, don't want to go it. there." Fuck don't. it, lads. Honestly, no, let's we're just, done. just leave. We'll, we'll leave 2024 behind. I would love to be stuck in an era. I would love. I remember when life was simple. I remember, like, and I, I know, as we get older, you become the older person that says the older things. Yeah, and I, I hate, I hate that. Like. You know, like the kind of thought process if like if someone kicked a ball in my garden, like I wouldn't throw it back. Like I'd throw it back. I wouldn't be a yeah. knobhead. But then I know that I know that there's people that I went to school with, I'll be like, they're definitely a knobhead. They're definitely a football popper. You know what I mean? <laughs> so but like just the days when you'd like, be like, you know, you'd go and play out or you'd fucking I don't know life was simple you'd meet you'd meet mates or you'd fuck even when you got older to like 18 you'd you'd meet and fucking I don't know, go cinema or something yeah like go to mcdonald's I mean, go and have a chat out the house and it doesn't have to be crazy expensive or you have to do something flash but you don't get groups of people just going out to do normal things anymore you know no i think it's very rare because people are always busy or they the friends or the activities they do do Doo doo, ah, uh, doo doo, doo doo. They are, I don't know. They're just fucking wankers, really. No, but it's, everything's like it has to be extravagant. It has to fit in with social media. Take, yeah, take with your photo, technology, you take, take a media. video. Oh, let's put it on Instagram. Let's take. I mean, I, don't, I do stuff like that, but I don't. I wouldn't spend money just to portray myself as being a dick. Like you can, certain places you can hire in America anyway. You can hire out a private jet. 
and it's not a private jet it's just like the, the outside of one and you, yeah, and you yeah. can go on the set of the inside of one and you take can take a photo your, take your photo for instagram yeah what, it's, not like, red. it's like oh what? I'm the hol- going on my on my private jet and it's like you twat you fucking twat there's, there's things like that that ruin it because there are people that do watch social media and get upset and they do get depressed about their own life thinking that yeah. the, these oh, other they, people's they lives are, my, are amazing but they're not it's all fake they are my pet peeve those people because I'll tell you one, one so in the um, in obviously the motivational videos and all that stuff that I watch one of the biggest things that I get is all the adverts and behind those adverts on YouTube of all the motivational stuff that I watch, yeah, is all about like, do you want do you want a stress free life? Do you want to earn income of up to thirty thousand pound a month? Oh yeah, you should and be I'm, on Instagram working. Oh, you sh- like you you should get into commercial property because commercial property. Did you know you can have earn one million one million pound tax free if you're in commercial property? I'm like, miss, listen, mate. I've just bought bin bags. I've just bought bin bags and milk. I'm not looking at commercial property. My car didn't decline. I'm happy about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. I bought a flat white today, and I felt I felt boss because my car didn't decline. You Once felt upon a fucking time, poor. <laughs> it declined. I've been out for meals before, and my car's declined. <laughs> nah. Oh, God. like. I just, I just hate the. Well, I mean, for me, the false world, and I fell into that massive trap. We've talked about this many times, but he did. It was a Louis V man with his little, you can, little pouches you can, and bags. You can fall into such a, you can fall yeah. into such a trap of not only obviously other people, but it's more self entitlement that you think that you deserve that life. Yeah. Like, let's not talk about people pushing our faces. Let's talk about what you think you deserve. Like, you know, I, I'm sure you once upon a time you thought, "Fuck me, man!" Like. I've been doing this. I've been ghost hunting now for fucking twenty years, nearly. Where's my break? Where's the money? You must think like that because it's only natural to think like that. But the truth is, it might not happen. But you can keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and you've had some amazing small wins. Like, do you know what I mean? You've had, you've been on TV. You've met celebrities. Yeah. You've shook hands with the greats. You know, you've done all of that stuff. And I have, yeah. Like, no money in it, but <laughs> exactly. People think, I don't know, people think there's an easy route, right? There isn't an easy route. Like, easy come, easy go. If it was if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Oh, yeah, 100% everyone would be doing it. Because it's easy. Because, you know, you can get what you want at the drop of a hat. You know, you can make yeah. things happen that you didn't think were possible, but it can, because it's easy. Right. It ain't. It, is, it ain't easy. Life's hard at times, and do you know what? Just... I don't know, fucking achieve all the things that you want to achieve. I get that. If you've got goals, fucking make it happen. But at the same time, don't forget to carry on living as well. Don't make yourself miserable, miserable just to try and get something. Resenting your own life. That's the, one of the yeah, main yeah. things. Oh, no. Re- I know. Life resentment. That's what I fear the most. What, if you resent your own life? Yeah, yeah, like I fear that so much. Like I always, I always feel like if there's something I want to achieve, I have to achieve it, and and it's good. whether it takes me a year or two years to achieve it, I, I want to achieve it because if I get to a certain time in my life and then my my body goes, mm, it ain't possible anymore, mate. It ain't, it ain't honestly, it ain't On the physical for level. You. Yeah, yeah, like I wouldn't want to get to my deathbed and then be like, hold on a second, like. I left a few things on the table that I could have easily, you know, easily done. Yeah. That's quite, that's quite a sad fact, isn't it, really? Like, you wouldn't leave anything behind. Fuck me, man. I remember stepping on a skateboard last year. Might not mean nothing to you, but skateboarding was everything to me. And, and I mean, I did about half an hour's worth of skateboarding. And I was like... Oh, excuse me. Yeah. I was like, I, I was like, I'm done. I can't. Like... My the, back hurts, the, my hip. Yeah, it's not <laughs> that. It's like my feet. I, I was like, I can feel everything. Like you know, basic trick. I'd do a kickflip off a couple of steps, and I'd be like, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. Yeah. I'd be like, and the fear, the fear of causing myself damage now is so strong. Risk assessment in motion. 
I know yeah. your head's like, that is it. Yeah, you risk assess everything. You're yeah. like, you don't listen, do it. How, how long is this going to set me back? Do I need the time off? Should I do it? Whereas I used to be years ago, but my, my, my mindset is still the fuck it mentality. Fuck it. It'll be a laugh. Mm-hmm. Like, I agree with that. Like, I, 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 I endeavor people to just say, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care. Like, I want to go on holiday. I can't afford it. Fuck it. I'm going to put it on a credit card. Do you know what I mean? Do it. Do it. Because you will not regret doing those things. Mm-hmm. What you will regret is not doing it and going, oh, well, let a little thing like money stop me going on a 500 quid trip. Like, yeah. just fucking do it. Don't. Don't hold back because you will. One day you'll hold back and it just won't happen for you. It's memories. I think it's important in life to create memories. Now, don't buy shit. <sighs> buy, buy the things that help you get your memories. Uh, I, what I, I watched um, Alan Carr is on uh, Diary of a CEO again, shouting out another podcast that we should shout out all the time. Will you come on our podcast? No, we won't. But yeah, Alan Carr. He said, "There's nothing." There's nothing that you can buy in five years you'll give a shit about. No. I was like, shit. I was thinking, what do I care about? What do I care about? <laughs> like, actual... I heard something I like that today, actually. I don't know what I was watching on on my phone. Someone else I've said that. Got... There's nothing you can buy that will you will give a shit about. What the fuck? That was just before this podcast. What the fuck was I watching? Yeah, I, I've got, got nothing. Car, I give a shit about my car because I need it to go work and. I oh, know, but make, really, create my memories. Really? I know, but you get any car. Like, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, like you don't give a shit about that car. You just want to have a car, right? No, I do like my car. Yeah, but in five years, will you? Maybe not. Well, I've had it seven years, so. Yeah, but all right, fuck me, man. Right, it's a loose term, loose fucking term, mate. Fucking hell. This laptop I love because it creates the magic. So, I know what you're saying though. General day-to-day stuff, you're not going to give a shit about it. You don't like like fuck me, man. Clothes, I'm talking Design clothes, clothing, jewelry, yeah. fucking equipment, cameras, whatever you name it. Like, there's you know, expensive watches, all that shit, man. I've wasted money on watches. Oh, money! I've got watches I've wasted too much money on. You should and, then sell them. Watch, and then I've got watches that look just like the look just like the real deal, but they don't mean shit to me. <laughs> there you go. That's where the, the uh, like my football analogy is. I buy the the fake shirts. You buy fake watches. Oh, they man, look, they I, look the I, same. Listen, I don't mind putting money in the fake man's pocket. I don't no. care what people say. You know, it 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 fuels this and it you know it pays for this. Don't Mate, listen. Shit. I've been I've been buying knockoff shit for years. <laughs> I don't care, mate. That stuff is that stuff's there for the people, for the people, from the people. Yeah. Back in the day, when like you used to go to a pub, do you remember like you probably have more in your era? But do you remember like if you went to a pub with like your dad or whatever, or like there'd be someone coming around trying to flog shit. Yeah. They'd be like, they'd be oh, like a bloke coming, bloke coming with a load of meat. Or <laughs> yeah. fucking, lo- like, uh, sorry, to, it's, uh, it's this is not racist, but there was, I I do remember a Chinese guy selling counterfeit nice. DVDs in no nice. counterfeit counterfeit DVDs in the in the uh, Chinese that we used to go to him as kids. He sold counterfeit DVDs. Yeah, that's quite common back in the day. Right, you know, all those things. Especially, do you remember these? Do you remember they used to come in like the paper sleeves, or just the disc behind like a piece of paper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I bought many. Really... I bought many of them. Loads. I bought so many counterfeit films. Back I'd say, pirate copy. I'd say only twenty percent of them were really good copies. I remember. I got. I mean, so I remember. I got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the movie, six months before it came to cinema for, to the UK. Oh, wow. And I remember telling, I remember telling all my mates, like, "Oh yeah, I watched the Harry Potter at the weekend." They're like, "What? You know, the Harry <laughs> Potter movie? Yeah, what? Because there were no social media back then, so no. the only way that you knew stuff was on at the cinema was it was on the side of a bus 
or you went to the cinema and it was on a poster out the front. You know. Oh fucking hell! They used they used to be in magazines as well in newspapers. They were, when people yeah, used yeah. to have you didn't advertise on social media then because it wasn't there. So you'd advertise in magazines, newspapers. That's what people used to read. Mm. <laughs> Don't fucking read now, do they? Free no. DVDs in the paper. Yeah. Used to oh, they were the best. Sunday a- Times. Ancient Egypt. Himalayan oh, no. mountains. All them sort of DVDs. That's how I got my own collection. collection. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, they used to, yeah, I remember. That's how I got my da- first collection. The Daily Mirror used to do only fools and horses. They, they used to be all sorts. Of, there used to be like Christmas... Two Christmas films. Christmas films. I remember the, yeah, yeah. There was... I got... I think it was Dumber and Dumber and Jingle All The Way on like a two-sided card in the paper with two DVDs. I was like, this is sick! This is oh, the wow. fucking best! Great films. Oh, mate. I am I am looking for it. Well, I can't find it anywhere. Apart from you've got to pay to watch each film. Is I cannot find the Lethal Weapon collection. Is it not on cannot... Prime, Prime or anything? Or Netflix? It's, on, no, it's on nowhere. <clears throat> I can watch it on Prime, but I've got to pay six ninety nine per film. Ah, uh, per go, yeah. I, and I was like, I, I kind of just want to watch the collection. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Speaking of it, COVID's going around again, isn't it? There's a new strain. Is there? Apparently, it's a quite a severe strain as well. So a lot of people are coming down with it. Oh, I have a severe strain when I'm having a shit. <laughs> oh, mate, COVID. I could do with a lockdown. I could do with a little mini lockdown. To be fair, our country could do with a lockdown. To be fair, I could do it. I could do I'd with... be well busy. <laughs> I could do with a little cup. Couple of months, couple of months lockdown. What was the longest we was in lockdown for? One of the period? six weeks, wasn't it? No, the first one. What was that? That was from twenty third of March up until like August. No, they they let us out in in yeah in August to that eat out to help your friends or whatever it is. Eat out to please out or whatever it's called. And then this, how long? Then the next day, we... September, we went back in lockdown again. How long were we physic- physically at home? Like it must. Like I remember being at home, at four, home, home. Like four months. Like it was, yeah, months. it was a long, it was a long time. I was at work, but so I, I missed all that, unfortunately. But oh, mate, it's like, hence we fucking. I mean, such a good thing that we moved after because we hated our house after the lockdown. We hated it. Yeah. We uh, even ever since like we've moved and we have got new houses and stuff like. We hate being at home. We are like, what are we? Extroverts, introvert, extroverts. Extroverts, yeah. Like we being like out to... and about, yeah. We go anywhere. We'll be like, oh, there's, there's this little summer fair on this weekend, or this going on. We're like, don't care. Let's go. Let's go and have a walk. Let's go and have a look about. Look about. That's nice. I love doing little things. Going to little towns that yeah. I've never been to. Sometimes I like it. Other times I hide in my bedroom. So. And cry. <laughs> little, little wank. <laughs> little wanky boss. <laughs> so I, nah, I hide in my bedroom. No coming out today. <laughs> Turn the phone off. Yeah. Hide my car. I, yeah, I'm not home. I, f- I, f- <laughs> I feel like one day I'm going to knock on your door and be like, I'm gonna come knock on your door, but it's Mickey playing out. <laughs> I love that term. I always say that to my mates. I said, "Are oh, we playing out?" <laughs> you playing out tonight? Yeah, I fucking. Love can you that. imagine? Can you imagine? Like that should be that should be like a bit of a movie. That should be like a bunch of fully grown blokes going to knock on each and like going up to them. <laughs> going the up to old their days. Houses. Like their wife just sat there, like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like it's Tony playing out. No, he's fucking. He, He's fucking. He's in the bar. <laughs> ring the house phone first. Is Tony there? Who's yeah, this? Yeah. Who the fuck's ringing my phone? No one rings the house phone. A bunch of like forty-year-old dads on BMX is just pulling up to each other's houses. <laughs> There's a film there to be made, or a fucking video to be made at least. That has got to be a video for sure. Oh. Of like, can you Still imagine just? bunch of the old dads on BMXs and fucking jeans and Converse and just be like they've got about six quid between them 
You know what I mean? They've all got like a few quid and they'll be like, what do we do with it? We've got six quid. <laughs> Penny sweets. Open chips from the chippy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Wooden, sp- oh, wooden mate, forks. How far a bag of chips used to go? Like, we used to get this massive bag of chips between me and my mates. It's like 80p like, or it, something, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think it was. It was fuck all. It was like something like 150, I remember. And it was basically just a big open bag of chips, ketchup, yeah. and a load of the fucking plastic forks. Like, that was dinner. That was dinner. Yeah. We used to get one person used to buy that, and another person used to go to the shop and get a loaf of bread. She just used to stand there chip and butter. chip, chip butter in the park. Is that what and you called start... it? Because you're from up north, aren't you? What do you call it? Chip butt. Chip butty, or I called it down here. Chip butt. Chip butt. Chip butt, no, but, yeah, but. Chip but, a butty. A butty. A butty. Yeah. I miss them days. That's when people were nice. Do you know what I mean? Right. She, she, that is it. That is a film to be made. We we are taking that. You you lot fuckers can try and steal it, but we've got rights for this. A British comedy movie, like, but just based on just fucking bunch of dads just being like getting their old BMXs out of the garage with dust on. Or, what you, you need what to I mean? do? We need to go on eBay and find eight or nineties clothing. And so that you wear the same sort of clothing as, as you did back in the day, like proper. Uh, that'd be fucking brilliant, man. And I'm sure there is blokes that go out and do that shit with their mates that like they went to school with and be like, fuck around, but man. No, I'm sure there's there's men in their 40s and 50s that's, that wear tank tops. Yeah, with the yeah. stripes on, with the patterns, and the oh, shirt. I bet that's, I they just, that's day to day. T-shirts, t-shirts used to start like that. Oh, mate. No, God, not for me. Nost- nostalgia, bruv. Yeah, it took a nostalgia. You know, Paul, episode 109, the the grave oh. connoisseur. Yeah, he's on a cruise to Norway. I don't know <gasps> why. But, oh, Norwegian but, thoughts? Probably, yeah. Do you know who he's on the fucking cruise with him and who he's been watching football with for the last two nights, both semi finals? He was a oh. one-hit wonder in the nineties. I'm oh, saying nineties. Fuck, say nineties. Okay. Yeah, he's the one and he's the one. one, one he's the one and only. I am the one and only. Chesley Hawks. He's fucking. Chesley Hawks. He's fucking chilling with Chesley Hawks for two days, watching football with him, drinking beer, having food with him. Fucking quality. I've been watching him, and I'm like, oh my god. Chesley you know, Hawks, he was, he was on, um, he was on, was it Michael McIntyre's thing recently? I don't know. He had a one hit wonder called One and Only. <laughs> it was the one and Only. <laughs> Fucking brilliant song. He still goes around touring all the unis and the the clubs and that. And Singing festivals. his one Sing song. It. Yeah. He's fucking I, mega honestly, famous. I applaud one hit wonders. I do. I think they are geniuses. Because... Yeah. They got exactly what they wanted for that moment. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? They got they got their five minutes. They got the gigs. They got the money. They got the downloads or whatever. Not downloads back then. It was fucking singles, probably. Yeah, singles, cassettes. Probably cassettes, to be fair, when that song came out. I probably bought that on cassette. Which, to be fair, they reckon they made a lot more money back then than compared to today. Because well, downloads are different now. Like, like... If you if you're a singer now, the best thing to do is to put your shit on TikTok because you've got yeah. a platform of what nine million? No, something like nine million. So a massive, crazy number people that could potentially see your stuff and be like, like that song, like probably that song before. Nine billion, probably not million. Yeah. People get nine and million be- views. <laughs> people, before you know it, before you know it, half of the world has listened to your song. And they'll be like, oh, we want to, we want the full version. Some record label's going to be like, snap that guy up. You see, people make mashup of songs, don't they? And they use it in TikTok videos. And then some people take it to like Spotify and they upload it. There was a Celine Dion one mixed with... Uh, and the beat goes on by Water Brothers or something like that. Water, I don't know. Uh, and it's fucking amazing. And someone someone put it on Sp- uh, Spotify and Apple Music. That's sick. That's and it's really like, good. 
Wow, anyone can do that now. I mean, me and yeah. you could make a song and we could upload it to iTunes and all that. Be shit. Just make but... a song. It'd be shit. <laughs> It'd be so shit. <laughs> It'd just be us ranting and fucking moaning about shit. We're happy one minute, we're fat the next, we're moaning about shit. Pretty <laughs> much sums up what blokes do. Put a beat to Moan. it. Moan. Moan about being fat. Go on a diet for a few months. Let wait till the t shirt fits again properly, and then all of a sudden get fat again so the t shirt doesn't fit again. It's well, just a repeat cycle. Start, start again. It's just a repeat cycle. It's a fucking endless loop. It's just <laughs> Yeah, it's just bollocks. Yeah. It's just we're just always moaning. I know. Just fucking And really, it's just live your life, man. Oh yeah. god. Be happy. Try and make things. Well, I think happen. we I think we should go out soon. I, I've been saying this for ages. I think we should go for a Chinese or something. Wait we for need Mandarin. to go. Out. Yeah, we, is it still there? Yeah. We should go. Let's let's organise it. Your when's your birth? Your birthday's in September. Yeah. September is your birthday. 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 How, can I, how did I remember that? September is your birthday. I don't know. I'm getting you a BMX <laughs> <laughs> and a tank top. <laughs> I'm get, I am get, I'm getting you some. What size shoe are you? Ten. I'm getting you some more. I'm getting you some black Converse, mate. <laughs> I'm getting you some black high top Converse. They're the coolest shoes, man. Yeah, They're I love nice. it though. Cause I'm, I'm going back into the phase of like wearing all the shit that I shouldn't be wearing at my age, like Crocs. old. Old school stuff like I don't know. See, back in my day, like I used to love. I there's so many fashion areas that I loved. I made so many fashion mistakes; it was unreal. But mm. I used to wear it because I used to thought I used to be. I look fucking cool. cool. <laughs> I went. I went through every phase. Going. I remember. I, was, I used to love. Like I used to. I used. To, I used to love the thought of being a gangster when I was a kid. Like proper American nineties R and B. With a hat, oh mate! Top I hat. used to wear, used to wear like a basket. I used to, I used to wear a Jordan like tank top. I used to have, I used to have an American football jersey. I used to have K Swiss. Remember K Swiss with the twisty tongs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I used wow. to have basketball shorts. Like you know, I used to love it. I used to love like listen to Tupac full blast in my bedroom. <laughs> I still do that now. To be fair, I love Tupac. Yeah. I was listening to a two-pack song the other day, and I was He's in the car. Generational genius. And I was, um, no, it's one of his proper upbeat, happy. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I see yeah. the same. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, I had that one in the car, and I had the windows down, and I was driving through Russian Lakes going to pick up some food from Nando's. And I thought the sun was shining. I had my shades on. I'm listening to Tupac. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> anyway, corner of my eye, some bloke and his missus get out of the car, and the guy starts singing it and bopping. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Wow. I was loving it. I was like, he's got the vibe. I know the vibe. <laughs> We're gonna keep it because normally I'd go turn that down quick. You know, you're in public now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. My missus says to me all the time, she's like, will you just turn the fucking music down? Because when she gets in the car after me, the music's always up full. I'm scared. Straight <laughs> I'm, partially, I'm partially fucking deaf. I know I am. Huh? Because I, I'll put the music onto max to 30. Wow. It's not allowed to me. Fuck it's not allowed. The deaf. That's, it's what? quite mellow for me. I suppose being in a band, did you ever have them little ear bits in? When you used yeah, to play... And play? When I fly now, every time I fly, I have to wear plugs because my ear drums every time just they go, they just go. That's why Niall's so loud when he talks because yeah, he yeah. can't hear himself. What? Because he's fucking. Oh, that, that'll be it. That'll be that'll be my downfall. Is oh yeah, Niall's all right in that. He's a good bloke, but he's deaf as shit. He's deaf as fuck. Yeah. Like my missus will shout me from upstairs. I will not hear a fucking thing. I'll hear nothing. In the middle of the night, she'll go, what's that noise? I'll be like, what noise? Nothing. Your car's on fire. Where'd you, huh? Where, where'd, you, where'd you stand on hit, twatting a burglar? You had a burglar and you twatted him. Do you feel like you should get in trouble for it or not? 
No, if it's in my house, I'll shoot the bastard. If I was in America, police openly encourage shooting burglars and people on your land because it's, it saves them a job of doing anything with them. I saw a police press conference the other day of incident that happened and he was like, you should protect your home. Someone invades, shoot them. That's fine. You're not going to get in trouble. And I'm like, wow, we can... If a burglar breaks into our house in the UK... You've got to wait until he attacks you. Even if, you he, can... if he cuts himself on the knife that he's trying to stab you with, he can sue you in England. What the fuck? It's fine. Sue me. I ain't got shit, mate. I ain't got nothing you can That's sue what me I mean. for. He can prosecute you for hurting himself while he's trying to kill you because he cut his finger or something. That's bullshit. You should be able to protect I... your home. Don't enter my property. You don't want to die. Simple I remember that. when, obviously, the unfortunate incident happened where oh. we had the drink, where they had the drink driver, and honestly, the oh, in your <laughs> in your house, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the 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 anger that fueled in me, yeah. like when I come out of the house because we come out of the back. I told you, I've been for the whole scenario. Yeah, yeah when yeah. I come out of the back of the house and the whole street was there, out of their house, like what the fuck has just got on, like all watching. When I got out. The anger of me just wanting to go up to the window and fucking rip him out. And then I just... Someone said, don't, leave it, whatever. But police turned up. They were like, oh, we'll try and get, you know... He was there. He had his foot on the accelerator. Whilst in limp mode. Like, <laughs> obviously out of it. Mm. Like, and then they were like... Literally, they pulled him out of the... Uh, they got him out of the car. Ambulance turned up. They put him in a little seat, put a blanket over him and everything. I'm like, fuck the blanket! Fucking putting a blanket on him for? Like, yeah. whack him in cuffs. Throw him in the back of a van. Yeah. Fuck him. And then, like, after that, man, I was just like, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't do nothing to protect yourself. No. Like, if you had, if you had, a, if you had a, I don't know. <sighs> A fucking Hoover pole in your house, and you was like, right, this is what I've got. I'm going to use this. They'd be like, right, you used a deadly weapon. Yeah. It's just shit. This is, like I say, this country is is failing and it's corrupt and it's all crumbling down around us, and we're here to watch it happen. And the, the everyday good good people that have a good heart and try and do best for their family. They are watching and being frustrated, and you know it's best just to be a cunt, go around stealing. Let's let's see what Labour people. do, people. Let's see what Labour do. <laughs> I, oh, what's he got to show us? Is that a divot box? No. Oh, it's nice. I oh, like. It? I like it a lot. What do you think it is now? What you uh, guess? Ho holy water. Ooh. There is holy water in here. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little. Um, it's a little demon kit. Isn't no, it? It's not demon kit. Oh, you might Exorcist, ex Exorcist kit. No. What is it? A vampire kit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's holy water, a couple of stakes, there's a cross, there's yeah. some sage. Holy water. Someone's... I got some um, rosary beads, prayer beads. That's it. There's your weapon. Crosses. Yeah. Fucking sword. Silver, yeah. That, wait, isn't, sil isn't silver supposed to be like wolves or some shit? Silver's all wolves, yeah. But these are fucking sharp. So, yeah. A couple of sticks. <laughs> right. So, next time that vampire comes, you're going to be like, hold on a second, guys. Let me get my kit out. <laughs> oh, no, no. Is there any garlic in there? Yes. Oh, good. Well, guys, on that note... Thank you for joining us on another great episode of Dads, Lads and Kebabs. If you enjoy the show, please follow us at all our socials. Do not go and watch Mickey's new podcast. I'm only joking. If you do Very want to watch nice. him, follow him on his on those socials, not on ours. All right? We discuss real shit on this page. But guys, we love you. And on that note, deuces and fuck off. <laughs>